Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. If you have any questions, comments, or surplus machinery you would like to sell, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com or by dialing 630-229-6705. For an up-to-date list of machines, visit us on the web at 360degreemachinery.com or subscribe to this channel. In addition to what is on our website, we have 50 plus machines being processed as our inventory changes daily. So check back often as we do not list machines until they have been thoroughly cleaned and tested. Also remember that our full inventory is located in house and that we do not broker tools to guarantee quality. We are gonna do a walkthrough of a 2014 Ritter R46VH a vertical horizontal construction boring machine. This R46VH construction drill is designed for dowel and hardware connector boring applications for frameless cabinetry. The 46 spindle system allows for 23 spindle horizontal and 23 spindle vertical boring of construction holes for upper and lower cabinetry, as well as pantries and drawer boxes. Quick changeover of boring patterns and a one point panel referencing design eliminates the need to change reference stops and fences for the horizontal and vertical boring applications. The non-tilting boring head design provides for years of boring pattern accuracy. Those 23 spindle vertical and horizontal heads are on 32 millimeter centers and the machine is foot pedal operated. You can go from horizontal to vertical boring by just flipping the switch here. Up is horizontal. And you're down is your vertical. The Ritter R46VH does have a total of seven pneumatic hold downs that work with the foot pedal when you cycle the machine. So you have three on the left hand side. We're talking about these ones up front here. You have three on the right. You also have one up front. This one can also be turned in on and off via the collar here. You also have a series of bars that you could put stops on. You have one stop left here, one stop right, and you can move those stops up front as well. On each one of your extensions, you have a manual hold down. This allows you to put your workpiece in and lock it in place. And again, you do have one on the right hand side as well. In between those pneumatic hold downs, you have a series of pneumatic stops. So the yellow banded ones labeled one through six are actually pneumatic stops. And what you do is you come down here and you're gonna see in your controls, you have one through six. So if you hit number one, your number one is gonna drop. That's gonna allow you to put your board in here and index to your left. If need be, again, you can come down hit your number six, put it at the same place on the scale, and it's gonna allow you to index to your right. So these are basically to allow you to index really, really quickly. Up front, you do have your vertical and horizontal switch to go from vertical to horizontal. Um, these are your emergency stops. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn those motors off you're gonna see a lock. I'm gonna explain this in one second. If you come to the side, you do have a turret stop. This one's for dowels, KD fittings, and tool change. Realistically, these are just, this is just a depth stop. So if we were to go open this machine up and look inside, you're gonna see a rod that comes over and it is just a manual depth stop 
for that vertical head. We can loosen this up and if we move this to tool change, it is going to allow us to hit the foot pedal. Again, we do have the heads off. We could hit the foot pedal. That's gonna raise that head up. But as you can see, it is raising the head all the way up to the, your collars. You can hit the lock and it is going to lock that head in the upper position so you can do a tool change. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.